<laughs> you know, when you're with your best friend, you end up doing a lot of really embarrassing things. Hey guys, Catherine McNamara here. I'm hanging out at Sweetie High today, reacting to some old photos. This is TBT Me. Oh my god, this is old. It's so crazy to see the season one hair color. So this is a picture from one of the first photo shoots that we did as a Shadow Hunters cast. Freeform had a whole day of content, so we spent the entire day running all over Toronto taking these pictures. Ah, so this, so I've loved playing dress up since I was a little girl. This was a dress that I used to wear all the time, clearly, when I was little and had the straight across bangs and used to dance around my grandmother's house. And then I actually was able to wear the dress for an audition. I think about five or six years ago, and I had to document and put it together because same dress, but uh, some things never change, I guess. So this was me and my puppy, Sophie. Sophie now lives with my godmother because her son has fallen head over heels in love with him, and she's so much happier living with him, having a big yard to play with as opposed to living in my apartment. Um, but I get to see her and go visit her and all of that, but this is right when I first got Sophie, and she was so small she could fit in the palm of my hand. Yes! So this is a picture from the season two finale of Shadowhunters. I don't know if you guys remember, there was that big scene where we had all the wraiths flying around and we were running through the streets and fighting them and shooting arrows and all this stuff. It was one of my favorite days on set because we actually shut down one of the biggest intersections in Toronto to shoot that scene. And they brought in New York taxi cabs and they brought in all of this stuff. We had a big bus. It was crazy. A uh, huge shout out to Angelica and Lana who are the two women who are on set with us almost every day taking all of these behind the scenes pictures and creating all of these memories that we didn't have time to. That was one of the most insane, in every sense of the word, nights of my life. The People's Choice Awards. Somehow in the middle of my speech, I ended up making that face. I, I tend to be very expressive when I speak. I don't know if you guys know this. You do. I know you do. That reaction definitely encompassed the night for me. It was the most insane, shocking, flooring, and humbling nights ever. Well, thank you. Yes! So I love wearing wigs. It's one of my favorite things about being an actor is, is being a chameleon and really transforming into characters. This was from a movie I did called Monsterville Cabinet of Souls in which I played Lilith, a, uh, an enchantress and demon of hell. It was one of my favorite films simply because of that wig. <laughs> so I've always been a ham. I don't know if that's a surprise to anyone who knows me at all. This, oh gosh, I don't even know how old I was, but I decided it was a great idea and it was really funny if I took the pieces out of the Mr. Potato Head and put them on my face. Because if the Mr. Potato Head can wear them, why can't I? You're never fully dressed without a smile, I guess. <laughs> Oh yes! So this is from uh, episode three of season two of Shadowhunters after Clary has jumped off a boat and gotten tossed in the waves of, you know, New York. She ends up walking, crawling on shore and walking her way back into the New York Institute. It's one of the first times on Shadowhunters they actually beat me up with makeup and I was so excited. Took probably way too many pictures. The funny thing is about that day is I spent the entire day looking like that, playing with Dom and Alberto's kittens, which were tiny at the time, so they weren't scared. That picture is recent, actually. I took that one uh, over over the Christmas holiday. I was at my grandma's gym trying to keep up on my training for Arrow. When it's the holidays and you really don't necessarily want to be at the gym, you find a lot of creative ways to procrastinate. <laughs> and my procrastination that day happened to be taking that selfie. I noticed that there'd been a lot of change recently and it's a huge credit to my trainers and a huge credit to their dedication to kicking my butt on a daily basis. <laughs> you know, when you're with your best friend, you end up doing a lot of really embarrassing things. This is my best friend, Corinne. She and I have known each other for 15 years now. She had seen this funny picture where somebody put a cup upside down inside their hair and then put the hair over it. And we both have really long hair and always have, so we thought, well, we have to try it. And of course, you know, share our, uh, our silliness with everyone we know, because that's what we do. We're just a couple of big hams, but I love that girl to death. Thank you so much for watching. This has been my TBT Me. Uh, if you want to see more photos that I've shared on the internet, silly and otherwise, check out my Instagram, cat.mcnamara. It's, right it's right there. And I would love to know which of these photos from this video you like best, so let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys. See you soon.